Dear son, it's Nathan, and it's about time for a dad's explanation. Let's catch up for a second. The company I thought owned Malarkey, the board game that I've been using in dad's explanations, doesn't own it anymore. And I thought I was going to let this stop me for a while, and then I was like, no, actually, I love doing this. I'm going to keep trying to gain permission and trying to find out who actually does own it, but I don't want it to stop me from doing something that I really enjoy. We are going to have some style changes, primarily instead of at the end of the video me saying, that's all for today, I'm going to wish you a happy holiday, and it's going to be whatever holiday it is. I did these daily videos for a little bit, and I wasn't really working out with my schedule, but I enjoyed the holiday theme and the idea that every day is a celebration, and so we're going to keep going with that, and if it's not a happy type of holiday, I will wish you a remembrance of such and such a day. Today's a happy day. Whew. Previously on Dad's Explanation, and I realize that this is two and a half months ago now. Ooh, terrible. I told you that Rigamarole came from the Russian town of Riga, and the idea that insane people would be rolled down into the insane asylum that was there. This is a dad explanation. In truth, the rigmarole comes from a ragman roll, which was a Scottish slang for signing up to honor the King of England after he had conquered them and made them sign this paper, obviously showing some disrespect. And today, our question is, why aren't there seatbelts in school buses? This is a really old question, and a lot of people discuss this regularly, and it comes up in the news. The basic point here is that little boys are going to have sword fights in the back with their seatbelts. And if you've got 20 rows of kids, you're not going to be able to stop them from putting out one, each other, one another's eyes with a seatbelt. So, safety first, no seatbelts. Write something downstairs. Let me know. Do you approve of the changes that we're making to the format? Are you happy that we're continuing with dad explanations? Which I feel is really an essence of dadness. Where maybe some of the stuff I tell you isn't always true. I know it was always that way with my dad. Let me know how you feel about these things. Let me know if you even remember what I said about rigmarole, and if you believe me if you did. And whether you think that today's question is a dad explanation or the truth. Also, happy Black Day. No, it's not racist. It is for lonely people. So, Valentine's Day, February 14th is Girls give to boys in Japan and other Oriental countries. White Day, March 14th, is Boys give to girls in Japan and other Oriental countries. And Black Day, April 14th, is Gosh, Women Suck. But well, we deserve chocolate anyway. Let's hear it for the men. Happy Black Day.